All right, I hope this works. I'm using the camcorder, so I'm not uh, going to be looking at it constantly. What's the matter, puss? You want to have a sniff? Hold on. Here. You want to have a sniff? Yeah, I want to show you what I picked up today. 99% uh, of it was uh, from my favorite vendor. Um, that guy's amazing. But, here, have a sniff. Um... Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll try to uh, whatever. And it the cool thing was uh, I was trying to find something to um, to um, listen to or whatever. And I, I just there's no effing way I could. Um, uh, come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. What's up with you? Hmm? Come here, you. Come here, you. Hmm? Come here, you. Good old puss. Hmm? You be good puss. You be good puss. Come on now. Go on. He's kind of like my... Well, he is, man. I 100% is my familiar. However, remember about familiars. You have to take care of them, too. It's not... You know what I mean? They're not just uh, doing uh, things for you. So you've got to, you know... That's the way it works. Anyways, I'll show you the stuff I picked up. Oh, but what a flippin' day. Eh? Um, I will say this, uh, right off the bat for YouTube stuff. Um, if you think... Wa uh, not wa or, you know, playthroughs don't have value or something, uh, at least... Huh, all I, got, I gotta say is, hey, you. Hey. Don't be like that, you. He, well, he's giving me love scratches. The problem is, uh, he's, his scratches are from are coming from hypodermic needles. Like, I don't uh, cut his nails. I know people go, oh, my God. But I'm like, I know, I know. Whatever. Uh, don't get me down this road. Um, watching Meandering Mike's playthroughs of, uh, like, the whole series um, for Britannia... I was the only newbie in our, our four-player uh, group. They were super ultra amazing. And I had the... Uh, whoa, chill, man. Chill. Um, that's because I'm doing my little hand stuff. So he's thinking, hey, it's playtime. Um, whatever, puss. Remember, he's Mr. Scaredy Cat. That's the problem with him. Oh, there we go. He's off. Okay. Um, don't worry. We'll get to all this crazy stuff. Um, here, here. Well, you can maybe take a look a bit more. So, what can I tell you about Britannia? So, the uh, the organizer is super amazing. All of them, all the three of them, have played repeatedly um, against each other, you know, whatever. Um, that game is not my normal cup of tea, but I would play that again in a heartbeat. But, I'm not, I gotta say, those guys... I, I brought my notepad, thank God, because they were, um, they have sayings. They play this flipping game so many times. They're like, Chris, we're giving you the beer run. Or, no, sorry, Chris, he's giving you the beer run. I'm like, what the hell? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I haven't played this game before, especially with you guys. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about giving me the beer run. Or they're like, Oh, Chris, um, uh, th these are all uh, chewable vitamins. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my God, man, I'm so sorry. This is, it was, yeah, you know what's happening now? I'm, um, well, I I'm talking to you guys. So I, like, while I was there, I didn't realize I was in the moment. Now I'm discussing being in the moment, which is just absolutely flipping. <laughs> it's to hear, like, look, I was taught, uh, experiencing, well, a Can Games Classic. I even told them repeatedly, I said, I'm participating in a Can Games Classic because I watched this and I got to do this and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, you, wow, you're right. It is a classic. I'm like, uh, hello. Take a look at how many programs there's been out. You guys flip and play the flipping game, 16 players every year. Anyways, um, it was awesome. Um, I so 
Uh, I don't know how other people play um, Britannia, but we had a bidding uh, system. So you bid based on your points. So you're bi you bid points away, basically, uh, for the color you want. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. He was dumbfounded and I was like dumbfounded. He was dumbfounded. Mind you, the organizer was not. He just was like, yep. Anyway, so th the guy who's explained me the rules before the other people showed up because they were doing other stuff. By the way, I finally clued in. Um, my God, do I ever drool when I bike. I didn't realize, like, I have I think I've mentioned, well, you can probably hear, uh, I've mentioned before, F, man, I salivate like a mother. Um, bike, in, bike into can games. I'm like, why, why is my right knee wet? I'm like you're drooling, man. Anyways, so I um so we do a secret bid, and I just <laughs> first off I'm like I want green. He's like no, you secretly bid. I'm like well how much can you bid for color? He's like well you know normally you'd be an idiot to do, whatever. I'm like don't say idiot to me. I will do it. But anyways, I didn't do that, but and he's like no, you have to give a number. Like you can't just go because I was like all on green everybody's zero like okay, you know whatever and he's like no no you can't do that you gotta like you know whatever um i got green trust me but uh, greens are oh, yeah, i like green um my strategy did not work <laughs> on a side note i was like you do know the map is green I, anyways, I was kind of hoping like maybe they would occasionally miss my, that uh, didn't happen. Uh, those guys are amazing. It made me feel like I was playing, look, he's going mental. He wants to, see, huh? Okay. You little brat. Um, well, he's also being a familiar, aren't you, puss? Um, put me back on track. Um, they were playing it like the way I see people, the way I would like to play pocket battles someday, and I see the potential for pocket battles, it's like that nowhere near as complex or deep. Trust me, I know that. Um, it had that feel of like, um, like I've said before, like playing cribbage or something, like with people for a lot, it's got that, if you can get some, a group of people that want to play Britannia, for example, um, Oh, you're lucky buggers. And they get to do that at least once a year. Actually, uh, the organizer let his play go. He was the blue team. That's right. Because he gave me a beer run. <laughs> I'll give you the slow or the saints. People may clue in. I don't know. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? A Panzer Gamble. What the hell is that? And chewable vitamins, like I said. And... The organizer has talked or communicated repeatedly with the uh, designer, Lou. He was like, whatever, because he um, said, oh, no, uh, we like to uh, privately call them Louisville uh, vitamins. Uh, I guess they're units that are or you, I don't know. Like I said, I'm <laughs> just learning. But they were receptive to uh, me saying, can I come back next year? They're like, for sure. Um, and they were occasionally, and I said, look, I'm a newbie, I'm doing whatever, um, and I'm going to be whatever. Um, oh, I loved being the Welsh. Oh, F, F do I love being the Welsh. Um, you know why? They're sneaky little devils. Uh, as far as I, I, I know, they can't do whatever. But you can coordinate the Welsh later on. They're right. Oh, they just help people. Um, and the Danes. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Ah-ching! That's all I gotta say. Um, no, I didn't win. I think I got in fourth. But if, like, I could see the potential for being green. That's all I gotta say. I think the new version, they were, they're so far, and I told them repeatedly. I said, to be able to talk, uh, just experience, sit down and go, and listen to you guys talk about this game, because you've played it so many times in so many different ways um for so uh, um they were like <laughs> like it's levels of strategy or understanding i was like i could barely ah oh, it was amazing um mm -hmm. 
Yep, I will play Britannia again. It's something, like I said, like playing cribbage or something. And the way they were talking about it, and oh my God, you should have saw. And they were like, the guy explaining to me the, the game at first, he's like, Chris, this rarely happens. Everything he hit except one territory on his first whatever. And he said, oh, I get to do a double turn. It's a major invasion. Or, I don't know. Whatever. I Like I said, I'm probably mixing things together. Um, they were like, say what? He hit every time and everybody missed every time. He just went, whoa, like this amazing, crazy purple snake. It was just nuts. Um, what else could I tell you uh, about that? Well, I talk, I think, properly, which was difficult because, uh, okay, I will say a couple of times I let loose, but I rein myself in quick because I'm reading body language, I hope, um, both ways. And I, when I, look, man, I've got lots of, I can't show you. I've got lots of address, well, business cards and so on. I talk to people, people, uh, the way I want to talk about uh, the gaming industry. And I was not, I embellished. Okay, I, I agree. But I didn't lie, ever. Um, no way. No way. No flipping way. Not with this stuff. Not when you get to that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I lot you see what I mean, but no that you make sure that is written in stone. You do not. That's your no, you don't. That's reputation, that's legal, that's lots of stuff, man. Um I got to talk about licensing, I got to talk about um uh I uh, intellectual property with a few people, uh, I'm not like saying big people, I'm just saying, I got to talk to people that are doing it, is what I'm saying. Um, and they were not talking down to me or whatever. I could see a couple of them click, as in, and like I said, I'm not, I wasn't lying or whatever. And they could see, I think, I hope, um, this guy isn't BSing. He, uh, look, I'm confident. Anyways, let's get to talking about uh, my booty. Oh, sweet Jesus. Anyways, the dude that um, I love, and you're going to find out, here's his business card. Let's show him, man. He's like, this is my business card. I've had it <laughs> many years. Well, you gave me another one, but you get the idea. Um, so here he is, man. So please look him up. Be nice to him. He's a wonderful human being. I mean it, man. I got to talk to him properly, properly today. Like, oh, Jesus Wait until you see what he did. And we are going to talk, uh, I'm talking to him about World War I cards, making them, uh, researching, so on and so forth. He's like, yes, 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 why? Yeah. Like he was already beyond me about, yeah, of course, I'm already thinking. Um, and he was like also uh, discussing, um, there's somebody in Ottawa that's uh, making a French and a German trench uh, or trying to one-to-one -one scale somewhere. I'm not, trust me, I know like some people uh, reading the, or what, listening or whatever, like, oh my God, this guy's just a flipping whatever. No. N-O, no. Okay. Hope you can see that, Jeepers. Oh, I'll take off my thing. No, I can't. That doesn't help either. Please, it's working. Anyways, I'm going to say it. Bob Tom's Bob Thompson, the Unsportsman uh, Collectibles. He's got his telephone, his email, his whole flipping whatever. That's his. This is an authentic Elvis Presley card from the scarce Monty set produced in Holland in 1977. The set is extremely difficult to complete as it consists of 50 blank backed. Un he knows his flipping cards. That's when, what you're going to see in a minute. I am going to pick up several copies of them and I'm giving them to someone to good F. I'm going to give them to Meandering Mike and I hope to God he uses them to give, uh, uh, for a giveaway to up his, his subscriber count. Damn right, man. End of. So this is what he ga uh, I purchased for pff, a pittance. And... Uh, 
I'll have to talk to him again. But he designed these, his name's on them, the whole nine yards, and he was horrified, I think, or I'm not, like I said, I'm adding words. Um, he made these, basically, research or whatever. He got the things together to complete this from a World War II set, and he was like, what the hell? There's no Canadians in this? This is nuts. So he made the whatever in that style. All right? That's what I saw, and I went, oh my god, World War I. Sorry, but if I'm yelling, whatever. But I thought, and then he's like, no, it's World uh, but, but, I mean, come on. No, no, would it maybe have the front, I think. And that's when I saw that, and I went, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> but you get the idea, I hope. My mind is, I got to talk to other people and they were not, like I said, not looking at me funny. Not looking at me funny. And I wasn't acting like I am in this video, you know, like I was talking normal. I know how to, you know, when I'm like, holy F or whatever. Like this is just, you know, unfiltered, like I said, but. Woof. Anyways, so there we go. What other stuff did I get? Oh, this was like, I'm coming home. When I saw, or when I heard, and he said, oh yeah, I was like, give me a break. You could put 50 bucks instead of five bucks for those. I'm picking them up. What are you, nuts? Anyways. Okay, we'll show the other stuff that I got from other places. So that, what a beautiful... I'm bringing this tomorrow for Tannenberg. Look at this. She had so many different fabric designs. I talked to her for ages. Um, she's going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you. She's designing a um, port... And a, a, No. We talked about it. Um, she's going to damn well make a portable proper like this foldable whatever dice tower guaranteed 100 percent it'll be out before christmas so here i'm going to show you her company thing you get it i hope so all right Dun uh, dragon master's horde dice tray large she had a smaller one for five dollars less but i tried it out i like this i know i know she had a bazillion different color uh designs of uh, well she gets fab like there was like uh oriental horror whatever i just it just looked i, I like the contrast for the dice i am super tired i'm sorry guys if i'm going off in wonderland i have to focus where where's puss to keep me on it just has a nice stone look i like it this is what it started off with me. I've had this on the... Sorry, I'm gonna drink some water. I'm getting dry mouth. From sucking back, Lord knows what saliva. Anyways, I had this, or I still do, on my wish list, or no, want list, wish granted, no, wish list, um, or want list, want list, a noble knight. Um, for a bazillion, I don't even know what, uh, 2010, so this is probably the first edition. Anyways, I had this for ages, where I've had it on for a long time, ages, like I've been in Hex Encounter gaming for like 20 years, give me an effing break. Um, anyways, 20 bucks, I was like, I haven't even, I'm like, let's go, let's see. He had a ton of, maybe he's had a ton of World War One games there for ages. I just wasn't into World War One. never saw them. Anyways, the other stuff I saw, five bucks each. They're in great shape. German Stormtrooper, give me an F. Come on, man. Yeah. Anyways, happier now. This was a later one. I think I sh uh, showed you in the thing, and I wasn't going to get it, but then I saw... Uh, World War One here, Vimy Ridge, uh, War to End All Wars. I was like, okay, I'll do it. I will do it. And it looks, well, obviously you can see it's in great shape. 
Then this guy, I like I said, uh, I think the one I didn't grab was Salvo 2. Uh, Salvo 2 is the only World War I game he didn't have. This is in awesome shape. I have no effing clue what it's like. I don't know anything about it. Five bucks. We'll see what happens. Twilight in the East. No idea about this stuff. No idea. Uh, Yutland or Jutland or something or other. Um, it looks like it's been used like a flipping bazillion times. I picked it up for 10 bucks. He says looks complete. I don't know anything about this. It looks really complicated. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? Oh my God. Sorry, I just dropped a bazillion counters. This looks so similar to uh, the unboxing of uh, one of McMurray's things from uh, Worthington Games. Not, uh, it was more of a, I think it kept the, sh the shape of the, um, of the hexagon or whatever. So, is that a pentagon? One, two, three, four. Give me a break. Give me a break. I was wondering. Like I said, I don't do uh, very well with 3D, 2D. What else? Oh, this one I got because... Well, I picked them all up. I mean, like I said, for good... I don't know any of these, like, whatevers. Um, there we go. Sorry, guys, if I'm... No Man's Land. Um, it was the 11 scenarios. I was like, ooh. And said evolution of uh, World War One. So I was like, that sounds interesting. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I am like... Maybe I should have put on some peppy music. Oh, I'm going to go and watch... Um, I'm sure I'll crash and burn. It's not a good uh, metaphor to use because I was going to watch Dad vs. Son, Aces of Valor. So, man, it's not a good idea, but... I'm listening to um, background music, which is of a Russian farm. <laughs> Roosters, bah, 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 that type of stuff. I'm like, oh my lord, lifting. So it's not like, well, it is wake up, but not like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Um, to keep you awake, but anyways, in Flanders Fields, Second Battle of Ypres. That's in great shape. And I, wow, well, like I said, I was going to pick them up regardless, but it seems like there's Canadian troops. Uh, certain list listed, which there should be, and hopefully they also mention the um, the, um, the African troops, and not just say French. I hope so. Let's see. And then these guys I also picked up. I, it almost looks like a you know like a self-published uh, thingamabob. Alan B's Blitzkrieg. Um, something about. Um, uh, the last cavalry offensive or something in 19 in the well, I guess maybe ever I don't know That looks pretty neat. So I'll take a look at that and then This guy and I folded the living shit out of it in my TARDIS. Thank God I brought the TARDIS though That's all I got to say and I was not going to bring the TARDIS and I did So there we go. Um, I could talk forever. Like I said, I'm just flipping tired man and, um, but this intrigues the living F out of me. I want to see what's going on in here. Um, where's the other one? Oh, yeah. Th no, this is the, um, the one, like I said, was on a waiting list for, oh, my God, I'm hungry, too. What the hell? I'm tired and hungry. What the hell? Hmm. Well, I'll drink water. That, that'll shut my stomach up. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, um. I hope to God, man, um, Tannenberg goes well tomorrow. I don't want to, like... Well, I, I'm bringing the original games, or the original and the Excalibur game. And then, um, so if the other, if my proper maps don't work, at least I can always resort to that, which sucks a hind tit. But I did magnify and print um, as much as I could, so we'll see what happens. <sighs> All right, um... Yeah, I can't think properly. Um, this is part of my, uh, part of my bidding. Like I said, I had to scratch out several times because they were like, "No, you can't do." Uh, you're not allowed to put everybody on green, but 
I got green because and actually it didn't get green right off the bat they were gonna give me blue and um, I found my out when they uh, one guy said oh whatever and I went uh, excuse me uh, well I didn't say it that way but I was like um I think I bid um, three points for uh, green and <laughs> then I'm like on on the sheet and he's like uh, oh you did and then he's like hold on hold on hold on Except the uh, organizer did not want to be blue. He wanted to be green because he said that would have given him an easier time uh, to go around the other tables. But then he looked at me. He was so flippin' nice, man. So nice. What was his name? Let's find out. Uh, do I have a program right here? Sorry. Don't watch my shit. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Jeez. Oh, it's hard for me to do that. To be honest with you, I'm a piece of NF. That's why I check my. Well, I actually don't use F the way you think it, I use F. I use it for the musical note. Well, the, and then it goes off into Wonderland, which is the way you think it does. That's the whole point of metaphors and all that crazy nonsense or whatever. Um, so that was Saturday morning. Norm Newton. So um, I got his stuff because he knows about World War I and. Whatever, but uh, they're a super duper bunch of nice people. Yeah, the person that took over for him afterwards, uh, super nice guy. He hadn't seen the guy who showed me how to play um, in like 30 years. It was nuts. They were like, he was like, oh my God, last time I saw you, you had blonde hair. But oh, it's just, I mean, just get to sit back. And it was weird. The guy uh, beside me, the red player, um, he was... unbelievably patient but wanted to play the game so they were chit-chatting and uh, it's like during the danish invasion or whatever the hell they call it uh, and um i'm <laughs> just it's pounding the shit out of out of everything and and i mean i was uh, i think i got like 30 points or something it was just or no 17 or 30, uh, it, a lot of points. Like it was just like, all I could say is the red player was like, uh, he, all you could say was, and no hits. And I just kept going and X amount of hits. It was just nuts. What a game. Uh, but like I said, they're, they they knew stuff I don't know. Uh, and it was, uh, but stuff I want to know is what I'm trying to say. And to, uh, to think, there are, Probably, you know, X amount times X of games like that that I don't even know about that people have been playing like that for flipping years and years and years. Like, good on you, man. This, this seems really flipping interesting. I, this is probably going to be the first one I look at besides, uh, well, well, the Yutland thing for sure. Oh my God, I didn't realize they loved that and me as... I was like, I didn't realize that either. They're like, why do you do this? I'm like, actually, it's calming. Uh, they're like, I, um, this is the first year I clued in. So after, of course, um, a game ends, you know, usually people scatter like mice because they, you know, want to pee or 